In a vibrant town filled with the scent of warm dates and colorful decorations lived two best friends, Layla and Karim. Ramadan had arrived, and the air buzzed with excitement. Lanterns twinkled like stars, and the sound of happy chatter filled the streets. Layla, a girl with boundless energy, bounced with anticipation. Let's go see the new moon, Karim, she exclaimed. Karim, a thoughtful boy with a gentle smile, nodded. Let's go, but after we help Ummi pack food for the mosque. Layla's eyes widened. Food for the mosque? But Ramadan is about not eating. Karim chuckled. Yes, we don't eat during the day, but Ramadan is also about sharing. This food is for those who can't afford a proper meal to break their fast. Later, as the first sliver of moon appeared in the inky sky, a wave of hunger gnawed at Layla's stomach. Watching Karim play calmly tested her patience. The next day at school, the sight of delicious cookies being shared made Layla's stomach growl louder. This is too hard, she mumbled, feeling discouraged. Karim, noticing her struggle, sat beside her. Ramadan isn't just about being hungry, Layla, he said softly. It's about becoming stronger, both inside and out. Remember the story of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who shared his food even when he had little? Layla's eyes sparkled. So, we're training to be kind heroes? Karim grinned. Exactly. We might be hungry, but we can still be kind and helpful. That evening, at Iftar, the meal that breaks the fast, Layla noticed an elderly woman sitting alone. Timidly, she offered her a plate full of dates and warm bread. The woman's face lit up with a grateful smile. As Layla drifted off to sleep, her heart felt lighter than her stomach. She realized hunger was temporary, but the joy of giving was a gift that lasted. Morale Ramadan teaches us patience, self-control, and the importance of sharing with those in need. It's a time to strengthen our faith and become better versions of ourselves, not just by avoiding food, but by embracing kindness and compassion.